What's up everyone here with another unboxing of the Rodecaster Duo. Now I had my order in for a couple of weeks. Everybody else, you know, got their review units, all these other things. I finally got mine, so I'm going to unbox it here and get my overall opinion about this one. Now, first and foremost, let me say this. This probably will be my main podcasting recording device because I have the Rodecaster Pro, Rodecaster Pro 2. I have that one. It takes a lot of space on these type of tables that I got. Much smaller, um, more compact, basically a miniature version of the Rodecaster Pro 2. And it has two inputs, which I'm fine with. Because it's uh, right now it's just but it's just me right now, so I don't mind that too much. Okay. That's that. Funky. We got some paperwork and oh. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be a little that over and basically we have the power cord same as the Rodecaster Pro 2 you got the USB cable with the power brick many power let's see 20 volts output 12 5 so like I'm saying this is going to be primary my podcasting device of choice I'm going to record the next podcast with this one set it all up you know Wi-Fi um, updates, if it ain't any updates, things like that. So, and you got the three prong power cable that goes with it. These USB-C cables are all that. Like, and they're long too. Like, they're not like four feet or whatever. These are very, I think they, I believe, let me see. Because I have a, this is a six foot wingspan, let's see. Yeah, about six feet right here. Maybe a little longer. All right, let's see. Yeah, a little longer. So, have an extra length is always welcome. Can't beat that. So, let's get to... The small meat and potatoes, I guess you would call this one. Oh, wow. Just by looking at this, this is way more compact than the two. Um, it doesn't, I guess it does have a visa mount at the bottom, is it? It got some screws there, but I guess you probably have to get the adapter where the other one has it kind of built in. Let me see. Faders, cool. Now, I noticed that they took away the notches on the turning dials here because I believe when you power it on, when you turn it, the light goes with the, uh, the volume rocker. So, depending on the person, they may or may not like this. I have to wait and see until I get used to it and use it. See, like I said, the six faders, the six smart pads don't bother me. The four faders don't bother me. The, you know, I'm, I will say this. I am happy. The 3.5 millimeter headphones back. That was my biggest gripe with the Rodecaster Pro 2. Because, I, like I said, I'm a solo act. And having to have my headphones come from here all the way around and dangling all in the way was annoying. This is, this is another reason why. I ain't going to fake it to you. This is another reason why I went with this one because of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, the original one had it, which I don't understand yet. The original one had it, then you took it away with the two, then you bring it back with the duo. Who knows? But looking at this, 
Oh man, like I said, I can't wait to get used to this. Um, I did notice that they chopped off that half where you don't have the physical button or the record button anymore, so it's gonna be a digital button. Have to wait and see if it's any issues with that. You know, you may tap it to pause it. Next thing you know, it stops it. You have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this one. You still have the two USB-C ports, so you can hook up two computers, as micro SD card, which is annoying, but you know, that's what they've been going with. Yeah, so that's it for this unboxing of the Rodecaster Duo. I'm record a couple podcasts with this. I'm gonna do a review of this. And I actually use this in the review as the audio interface while I'm talking about it at the same time. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see that video. And hit this like button if you like this video. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.